flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Atari's mood. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, I'm going to break down how to find your motherfucking haters and your motherfucking supporters utilizing your motherfucking NATO chart. That's right, how to find your motherfucking haters and how to find your motherfucking supporters. Because we all got them. You know what I'm saying? So check this out. Here's the thing. It's based upon percentage level, like I tell everybody. So based upon your circumstance and how big and small you are based upon popularity percentage level and the energy that you put into your career or whatever your business, your business, your business. He <laughs> he shot the ludicrous. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Whatever your motherfucking business is accumulating in this motherfucker, that's how much you're going to accumulate haters slash supporters. You know what I'm saying? So we all got this on, even if you a motherfucking bum in front of the gas station asking for change every fucking day. You got this spectrum also. You got haters and you got supporters. You got the, the next group of bums hating on you like, nah, I'm going to get all the motherfucking chains first. I'm going to pump all the motherfucking gas first. And then you got the motherfucking other bums that's in your motherfucking corner. Like, goddamn, okay, we're going to all put our chains in one pot to go get this motherfucking rock or whatever they motherfucking do. But goddamn it, we got to talk about it. You see what I'm saying? And when we talk about it, this is correlated to the goddamn 12th and the 11th house. So tell me why it's like that, Dolo. Tell me why it's like that, Uriel. <laughs> Check this out. Because when we talk about the 12th house, this is your dreams, illusions, creativity, and imagination. So those things end up accumulating into your motherfucking enemies. Because for the most part, check this out. Anytime your dreams is not getting manifested, anytime your dreams is not coming true, you look at the reason why the dream's not coming true is a motherfucking enemy involved. Whether you look at that as a spiritual enemy, a demonic energy, a low vibrational energy, a person, place, or thing that you was wrapped up in. But one of these things is going to be the blame that you place on your dreams not coming true. So motherfucker, that creates an opposing energy. Then we got the religious energy with the 12th house. Off the back, if you're in religion in any way, shape, or form, it has to be a Satan, a.k.a. it has to be an opposer, because that's what a Satan means. So, goddammit, anything that's outside of you that look like it's a threat to your motherfucking daydreaming ass is going to be a, a circumstance or a situation where you feel like it's outside of you when we talk about spirituality. Also, um, and spirituality ain't just correlated to religion, so remember that also. But, you know, we all got religious filters once you got a planet into the 12th house or a house lord, which we're going to get into. You know what I'm saying? Also, when you think about your imagination, you think about limitations and boundaries and restrictions of why your imagination can't come true or why your imagination ain't real here and things of that nature. So for the most part, that participate as an internal enemy. So you need to know that the 12th house is correlated to enemies if you ain't know no better. I know a lot of people may say it's the 8th house, but that's more correlated with death. That's more correlated with transformation. That's more correlated with backstabbing. You know what I'm saying? You could get backstabbed by your motherfucking uh, person that you married to. You know what I'm saying? But that doesn't necessarily mean this person is an enemy. They may just lie to you and say they ain't have enough money this week, so you paid all the money on the bill. So, yeah, they backstabbed you. Yeah, they put a wool over your eyes. Yeah, they did some eighth house shit. They did some behind the scenes type shit. But, goddammit, that's your motherfucking husband or your wife. So, it wasn't a goddamn enemy. So, you need to know how to separate things because there's a thin line between certain things. So, for the most part, when we talk about the 12th house, this brings enemies. Now, when we talk about the 11th house, 11th house brings support. Because here's the thing, you know you got that saying, uh, damn, why I always seem like a person that don't know me support me way better than somebody who know me or my family or my friends or my next door neighbors. Here's the thing, that's correlated to the 11th house. Because your next door neighbors and your family, that's more like your third house. You know, when we talk about your relationships and your networking and here and there type shit, but as far as to create balance and connection, that's the 7th house. But when we talk about the group, the thing you are a part of, the thing you are associated with, whether it's a corporation, whether it's a business, whether it's a gang, whether it's a, a friend, a, a pack of y'all that all trying to do the same thing in some way, shape, or form to the point that it could turn into a business, you need to know this is correlated to your association house, your associates, which is the 11th house. So this is going to bring your support. This is going to bring your public gains. This is how you conduct yourself in the public arena. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with the unknown and the unfamiliar. Now the unfamiliar, I call it the unfamiliar, but you can get familiar with these things. You're just not with these things on a 24-7 basis. So this could be family, friends, associates, things you are associated with with, how you organize, and the location of these places, and how you conduct yourself within these areas. And when I say motherfucker the unknown, it's not saying that 
things can't be known. It's just new things being discovered every day within the things that you do know. So that could be science, astrology, occult, mysticism, technology, uh, all things that's dealing with motherfucking communication as far as cameras, computers, phones, gadgets, technologies, um, and all type of social media, and all ways of communicating. But that's dealing with the 11th house. So, for the most part, you want to pay attention to the motherfucking house lords. Because when you, when you think about planets in the houses, I broke that down. You, that's the house, that's the area of life that you're paying attention to. So for the most part, the uh, houses that you don't got a planet in, those are the houses, aka the areas of life that you're not paying attention to. So anybody who got a chakra, anybody who got a planet um, that you are relating to that got um, one of their uh, lights in, that fall into that house that you don't got no planets in, this person will influence you in a way that you may not be able to see. They will blindside you. So you better hope that's a good spirit around you because if it's a negative spirit around you, it's going to take advantage of you in that area of life. For an example, if you don't got no houses in the, say if you ain't got no, my bad, if you ain't got no planets, stars in the second house. So for the most part, say your second house is Let's say your second house is Gemini, right? So for the most part, let's say you meet a sun, moon, or ascendant, or Mercury through Pluto, Gemini. For the most part, this person has a chakra. This person has a will. This person has a piece of their solar system, a piece of their attention level, um, what they pay attention to. So one of their lights is in a house that you don't got no planets in. So for the most part, this person is able to influence you in that house where you're not able to see things clearly. You may be very premature in that house. You know what I'm saying? You may not. You may be undeveloped, or you just may not be aware of that house because you're paying attention to other things, aka where your planet is at. So for the most part, based upon this person's spirit, they can either take advantage of you or they can help you out in that house. But based upon that person having a light in that house, having a star or planet in a house that you don't have no planet there, then that person is looked at as an example on what to do or what not to do anytime you step into that energy of that area of that life. You see what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. But when we start to uh, talk about how to find your motherfucking haters and how to find your motherfucking uh, supporters, this is talking about the house lords. Um, the house lords, specifically. You know what I'm saying? Uh, specific, look, all, all the words is correlated to oceans and waters and stars. Stars is just a a, a, a bigger body of an ocean. An uh, ocean is just a bigger body of a sea. Uh, then you separate the seas. The seas is just a bigger body of a river. A river is just a bigger body of a, a, a little lily pond or something like that. You know what I'm saying? All the way to the point that we're understanding that we're in a frequency vibration based upon uh, dimensional levels. And the higher it is, the lighter it is. The lower it is, the heavier it is. So for the most part, once you understand how to correlate uh, fluid, you will understand life. You will understand influences. But for the most part, here's the thing. The influences of the 12th and 11th house, how I broke it down, you need to know what signs that you got there. Because the actual signs that you got there, the planet that rules that sign is the actual, uh, will become the house lord. And whatever house that it falls in, into your chart, that's where you will find your hater, and that's where you will find your supporter. Now, for the 12th house lord, that's, just, that's where you're going to find your haters. For your supporters, that's where you're going to find your, uh, that's where you go, um, 11th house. 11th house is where you're going to find your supporters. So 12th house lord, that's where you find your haters. 11th house lord, that's where you find your supporters. You see what I'm saying? So I think I had to mix that up. But I repeat, 11th house lord, lord is how you find your supporters. 12th house lord is how you find your motherfucking haters. And whatever planet rules the 11th house, wherever that planet falls in, that's where you're going to find your supporters. Now, here's what you need to know. You got you to gotta be spiritually inclined at all times because you're always going to have individuals that try to take advantage of you. So, for the most part, it's a percentage level. So, here's the thing. You may experience haters sometimes dealing with the 11th house lord. And you may experience supporters sometimes dealing with the 12th house lord but for the most part it's a percentage level and i say 80 percent and i don't even like to utilize 100 percent and all that type of so i say more percentage range of you of you finding supporters is going to be the house lord and more percentage range of you finding your haters is going to be the 12th house lord so i repeat more percentage range of the 11th house lord is where you're going to find your supporters and more percentage range of the 12th house lord is where you're going to find your haters so Let's break down a few alignments in this motherfucker so you can get this clear and get this in perspective. So for the most part, let's let's start where you're going to find your motherfucking haters. Let's say you got the motherfucking 12th house lord in the motherfucking first house. This means you're going to find your haters in your personal life. That uh, When you mix and mingle with the people that's personally interested into the things that you're personally interested in. People who share uh, personal insecurities. People... Uh, uh, 
People that's in your personal life, your personal affairs. This is where your motherfucking haters is going to come from. People you personally know. People who who uh, may be affected by your personality in some way, shape, or form because you personally know them, but they may just be an associate or a friend or just someone that's in your neighborhood that's close enough to become an enemy. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, you need to know 12th house lore in the first house in that personal circumference. Dealing with your personality and dealing with other people in your personal life, your personal issues, personal affairs, personal insecurities. Securities, your personal interests, and the personal people, places, and things that you know. This is where your ha personal haters is going to come from. You see what I'm saying? Most of your haters, the most of the percentage range, you see what I'm saying? It's a thin line, a diamond in the dirt that you find supporters in that area. And it's after you already went through so many experiences that you had to detach from certain people, places, and things to, to allow your life to be open enough to allow the people, places, and things that's supposed to be there. You see that? You see what I'm saying? Now, let's say you got the motherfucking... Uh, 11th house lord in the first house. This is where you're going to find your supporters. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to find your supporters in your personal life. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with your, the things that you're personally interested in. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with the things that you're, um, you, uh, that's dealing with personal interests and personal insecurities and things of that nature or, or, uh, personal affairs, the personal people, places, and the, lo uh, the locations that you commonly go that you that if you always go there you see familiar faces even if you don't know these people or not it's a place like for an example you got a local walmart right so that's a place that you personally go you don't go to the uh the walmart on your side of town and just wake up one day and be like let me go to the walmart on the other side of town i mean you may do that sometimes but the percentage level the, the one that's on your side of town is your personal Walmart. So when you go there, you see a lot of other people that stay on the same side of town as you. People you don't know, that, but you they familiar. You get what I'm saying? So that's where you're going to find your motherfucking supporters and things of that nature when you got the 11th house lord in the first house. And here's, let me correlate so you can understand each planet also. When it's, when it's the sun, it's the actions. You're going to see the actions of it. It's going to manifest. When it's the moon, it's going to be influences that you react towards that make you uncomfortable or shit that make you highly comfortable and things of that nature. Fuck with your moods and shit, your state of being. If it's Mercury, you're gonna it's going to be filtered through the thought process and the idea or communications. If it's Venus, it's going to be filtered through the things that you love, appreciate, value, or what you relate to or what you're willing to compromise with. If it's Mars, it's going to be filtered through the things that you desire, the things that you're passionately invested into, your motivations, your motives, your um, intentions, your intent, your goals, and your anger and aggression. If it's Jupiter, it's going to be filtered through your meanings and reasons, your wisdom and knowledge, your broad philosophical points of views of things, your advice and previous, e previous experiences that you should be educated enough to know what to do or what not to do when you go through similar experiences future-wise. You see what I'm saying? Or in the present. Um, Saturn. This is going to be, it's going to be filtered through how you see reality, how you gain structure in your life, and where you place and receive boundaries and restrictions and limits. You see what I'm saying? Uranus. It's going to be filtered through uniqueness, individuality, and originality, whether that's dealing with your own or the situation itself, and change, rebellion, and opposition. Neptune is going to be filtered through dreams, illusions, creativity, and imagination, fantasy, superstition, supernatural energy, and faith. And Pluto is going to be filtered through transformation and power and control issues, whether you're giving it or taking it. Now, for the most part, let's get into the, uh, now, let's get into the second house. Now, if the, now, if you want to find your haters, let's say if you got the 12th house lore in the second house. Now, if you, uh, got the 12th house lore in the second house, you're going to find your motherfucking haters, uh, through the people, places, and things that you value. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if it's the sun, you're going to see it through their actions. If it's the moon, it's, you're going to feel that certain way around them. If, if, if it's Mercury, you're gonna, uh, it's going to be due, due to certain words and do through certain communications that you have with these people that you're going to uh, pick it up. You know what I'm saying? Pick up this sense of, oh, this motherfucker a hater. If it's Venus, due to the things that you love and appreciate and value in that area of where you're trying to plant seeds and build your self-esteem or what you have to offer or the people, places, and things or jobs or resources that you value. The things that you love is going to be filtered through theirs where you're going to realize, damn, the same things that I love is hating on me right now. You get it? So, if I don't have to keep regurgitating on the planets, but for the most part, that's how you combine them. But when you got the 12th house lord in the second house, that's where you're going to find your motherfucking haters. Dealing with the things that you value. You might value a person. You might value a place. And then a person that uh, wants your position may come try to take you out of that in some way, shape, or form to make you gain some unst instability in some way, shape, or form. So that's how you know you're going to find your uh, motherfucking um, 
haters if you got the 12th house lord in the second house now if you got the 11th house lord in the second house here's where you're going to find your supporters due to the people places and things jobs and the resources that you value uh anytime that you're planting seeds um and built and trying to build your self-esteem based upon what you have to offer to the world to see those fruits and labors grow to see if you're going to be planting good fruit or bad fruit you see what i'm saying that's where you're going to find your supporters anytime you're striving in that second house area when you got the 11th house lord in the second house now let's get into the third house here um now, if you got the 12th house Lord in the third house, this is where you're going to find your motherfucking haters. With the 12th house Lord in the third house, you're going to find your motherfucking haters in your goddamn surroundings. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't even got to deal with the people that you actually value, like the second house. It could just be your motherfucking neighbors, your surroundings, like your motherfucking neighbor that you think never pay attention to you. Yeah, they always got their motherfucking window open, seeing what the fuck is going on next door, a.k.a. your motherfucking house, your motherfucking tenement, your stoop. So you need to understand that motherfucker that. If you got the uh, 12th house lord in the third house, your motherfucking haters is in your local arena, your surroundings, your neighborhood, everything that's in close proximity, the shit that you are familiar, the shit that you familiar with, as far as that being a person, place, or thing, uh, uh, um, a gift, talent, or trait, or something you're familiar with. You got a lot of haters that that you de didn't develop that school. You got a lot of haters you de you didn't develop that work. You got a lot of haters that you didn't stumbled across this at the local store. But yeah, this is where all your motherfucking haters come from. If you got the motherfucking 12th house. Uh, uh, motherfucking lord in the third house now if you got the 12th house uh um now here's the thing because it'd it be it'd be switching up too because if it's mars you're gonna be fighting a lot of these haters you know what i'm saying if it's the sun you may just see people act in certain ways act in hating ways if it's the moon you may see people act shady and throw shade behind closed doors in that third house you know what i'm saying if it's mercury it's gonna be a lot of haters that just always talk shit behind your back and shit like that you know what I'm saying? If it's Venus, there's going to be a lot of people hating on the, the shit that you appreciate. Might be somebody hating on your relationship or something like that. Like, it's, it gets deep. You know what I'm saying? Now, when we talk about... Um fourth house let's say you got the 12th house lord in the fourth house all your motherfucking haters come from close ones family friends domestic issues aka when you go through when you go through things with close ones you go through things that end up turning into situations that you don't necessarily want to be around these individuals no more it don't it don't be situations that make you share bonds and be like okay this person is that much more closer you end up going through situations and you end up developing the idea like okay this motherfucker is the reason why I'm in these circumstances and situations because I'm letting them too close into the home, into my private sector, a.k.a. my heart or my emotional awareness or my standpoint on, on things. And a.k.a. I'm, I'm being limited in blockage and this domestic issue was to wake me up. And, like You'll start to think about it like that. This domestic issue woke me up to get me away from this mother. So for the most part, here's the thing. All your motherfucking enemies, um, when you got the 12th house lord and the 4th house, all your motherfucking enemies come from home, family. To, um, um, people that's in and out of your home People who know who know things about you That nobody else know about you You know what I'm saying These are the motherfuckers that can't wait They probably smiling in your face right now You got the 12th house lord in the 4th house They can't wait till you stumble and fall You see what I'm saying They can't cause These motherfuckers probably already been throwing shade on you So don't get successful Because here they're going to turn back around all, This shit is crazy You see what I'm saying With the motherfucking 12th house lord in the 4th house All your motherfucking all, your, your mama Probably your motherfucking first hater Yo, yo, pappy, probably your drunk ass auntie. You know what I'm saying? Your old ass grandmammy that 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 needs you to walk her up the steps every every motherfucking day when she don't need eat, she could healthy as hell. When when the young man come all, all, uh, around the corner that you don't be knowing be fucking your grandma and shit like hey, it's all that shit. Let's get crazy in urban areas and shit like that. We ain't gonna go that far. We ain't gonna go that far. We ain't gonna go as far as her being motherfucking two feet away from the remote control and your ass way in the motherfucking attic or somewhere and she say motherfucking clean ass, clean ass, come downstairs. I need you real fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, turn the TV channel. Motherfucking remote control is two inches away from. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that. But like I said. Energies like that. Yeah, you probably got the motherfucking 12th house lord in the 4th house. <laughs> but look, check this out. Let's say if you got the motherfucking 11th house lord in the 4th house. Then this is where your supporters come from. Family, close ones. You know what I'm saying? When you go through domestic issues, you end up feeling like, damn, these people are more closer to me. I need these kind of people around me when I'm uh, taking on a leap of faith and stepping into my next level of life and shit like that when I'm leveling up. Hell yeah. When you got the 11th house lord in the 4th house, that's where your supporters come from. Now, let's say you got the 12th house lord in the 5th house. Here's where your motherfucking 
motherfucking haters come from. Anytime you try to, you're going to experience heavy competitive energy. Because this is the uh, creative house and a way of you expressing yourself. So all your haters come from motherfuckers just expressing themselves. You might not even got a motherfucker who dislike you, but just their expression towards you and make you feel like everybody is haters. Like you ever been around a motherfucker that was like, who just think everybody hating? And you might be looking at the situation from an outside looking in like, man, ain't nobody really hating on this individual. Nine times out of ten, that motherfucker probably got the 12th house lower than the 5th house. It gets kind of blurry. It's Because you know what I'm saying? It gets kind of blurry because it's an in conjunction area. And for the most part, it's a misunderstanding. So a motherfucker would misunderstand that a motherfucker, a lot of motherfuckers is hating on them and shit like that. And then that might manifest into a lot of motherfuckers hating on them. Because a, a lot of motherfuckers will start talking about shit like, this motherfucker bitch or this motherfucking dude right here uh, always think somebody don't, always think somebody don't like them. It ain't that. And then that turns into people not liking them. Talk about how your back because of that kind of shit. So it could be like that also. Or you could be so creative like a motherfucker. You could be so creative that motherfuckers just hate your goddamn talent. And they motherfucker always try to push you to the side. So keep that in mind too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people always try to shut down your fun and enjoyment in some way, shape, or form. 11th house lord in the 5th house. Here's where you're going to get all your supporters. But a lot of times your supporters may be looked at as people that don't, that's not supported. And you might always look at these people like you're not willing to take their advice or you're not willing to uh, understand them. Or a lot of times... Your enemies turn your friends with this kind of um, area. You know what I'm saying? Or the people that you will look at that you would never work with in a day in your life. These are the same individuals that may turn into um, uh, a motherfucker that... Uh, be the best supporter in your life and things of that nature or shit that you look kind of scared to do or unsure or indecisive if you just try it because it's something new it'll be a circumstance where it end up being uh, something that end up being a support system because it's still it's opposite houses but at the same time is the uh, as the um, 11th house lord being in the um being in the goddamn um fifth house so for the most part this is where your supporters going to come from, but based upon these being opposite houses, your support may come in a blinded fashion, aka it may come in an aspect that, of unexpected, or it may come in an aspect of you wouldn't think that's something that will support you, or it may come in an aspect of something that you think is against you at first, and it's really not. To the point that a situation has to happen for that to be expressed in some way, shape, or form. Now, let's say you got the uh, 12th house lord in the 6th house, right? Now, this is the opposite house, right? And this is your motherfucking enemies. So, goddamn, here's the thing. If you got the 12th house lord in the 6th house, all your motherfucking enemies come from your work area, your job. You know what I'm saying? Wherever you work at. Or whenever you're trying to work on something. You always got somebody stepping in your life, stopping stopping what you're working on. You know what I'm saying? Stopping your schedule system, what you got on task. Taking you off task. Making you come out or making you fuck. Or making you do something. Or making you go broke. Making you have to... Anything to block you from what the fuck you was initially doing on task. You said or whatever you was working on. Or something fucking up your health or some way, shape, or form. You see what I'm saying? That's where all your motherfucking uh, enemies come from. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers putting shit in your food. Food poisoning and shit like that. You probably go out to eat a lot and you probably find a lot of bugs and shit in your food and things of that nature yeah you probably got 12 house more than a six house some shit like that you know what i'm saying but a lot of your haters come from your your job and your work or if you or if you a motherfucker who got things working in your life you got a lot of haters if you got the 12 house lord in the six house more than other people because a lot of other people get praised where you don't you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's say if you got the 11th house lord in the 6th house, then this means, motherfucker, uh, all your support come there. All your support is in your work area. You know what I'm saying? When someone see you on your task, you're going to get a lot of support of motherfuckers wanting to help you. This is the motherfuckers that, let's say you a street motherfucker, right? And you trying to make it out. You got a talent, right? But you keep going back to the streets. If you got the 11th house lord in the 6th house, if a mother, these are the motherfuckers that uh, uh, try to keep you on your task. Your associates are trying to keep you on your task, keep you working. You know what I'm saying? They'll try to support you working keep to keep you off the streets you get it you know what i'm saying females y'all probably been procrastinating y'all probably been doing all the females hair in all the neighborhood and your drunk ass auntie been telling you for motherfucking years bitch if you don't go to motherfucking school and, and, and get a, cos a cosmology motherfucking check or some shit like that and get your ass out here and get in a real motherfucking salon or some shit like that and you probably been uh waiting long and long you end up going to jail for whooping another bitch ass and shit like that with your other friends and shit at the motherfucking bar so you you going you fucking up going to church every fucking sunday and shit wasting your goddamn time because you need to change your life and now you to consider and listen to your goddamn Goddamn drunk ass auntie now. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. that your drunk ass auntie is playing out that energy of the 11th, 11th house lord in your 6th house. She's trying to keep your ass on task. Let's say you got the motherfucker, uh, 
12th house lord in the motherfucker 7th house then this means uh all your motherfucking uh all your enemies come from your relationships your networking your partner you know what i'm saying your marriage you know what i'm saying uh your siblings you know what i'm saying this is where all your enemies come from you know what i'm saying or anytime you try to express yourself how you try to relate and respond to people in a relatable way how you how you relate to people places and things this is where your uh people try to take advantage of that try to look at you like you passive you know what i'm saying try to take your kindness for weakness this and then you then you will develop enemies because if you you might you might be a person that got other alignments and shit like that that you you're kind but you're not no pushover so it, your kindness get took for weakness and then it always leads to a situation that you got to go up somebody's head and boom now you got another enemy you see what I'm saying things like that or people who thought you was a pushover and then they went too far boom now um Eleventh house lord, right? Here's where all your supporters gonna come from, and it's a harmonious house, like the same way the third house and the seventh house and eleventh house. They're trying air houses, regardless of what sign you got there. Just play out the air quality in that element, whatever sign you got there. But here's the thing, right? This is where all your support gonna come from. Your support gonna come from your marriage, your siblings, your networking, your support, your friends. And anytime you try to relate to people, people gonna look at that as supportive in some way, shape, or form, and try to support that to keep going. 12th house lord in the 8th house, motherfucker, your enemies is hitting. You don't know where your enemies at, but you got them. Keep your doors locked. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. <laughs> Keep your motherfucking doors locked. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all motherfuckers like to uh, go to Walmart and go to Targets and shit and leave y'all windows down and shit like that. Leave your doors unlocked. Nah, not if you got your motherfucker 12th house lord in your goddamn 8th house. You don't know where your enemies at. You don't know who watching you. Motherfuckers watching you. Motherfuckers is making fake fake Facebook, Instagram pages and all kind of shit on your ass. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't know who your enemy is. Your enemy be in your house every day too. And you don't know that. See, you don't know that. It's hard to know that. And you got to go through a transformative circumstance and then realize who the fucking enemy was. This is the people who get snitched on and shit like that. Like Shoddy, nine times out of ten, that Shoddy from Treyway, he, uh, six nine snitching on him, nine times out of ten, he probably got the 12th house lord in the eighth house. He never knew that I was going to come to that. You know what I'm saying? But shit like that, that's how, and that's just for an example. But you need to know, um, um, shit, uh, you know, know where your enemy's at when, when you got the 12th house lord in the eighth house. So be fucking careful, you know what I'm saying, 11th house lord in the 8th uh, house, you also don't know where your support at, so your support come out the blue, you know what I'm saying, a situation has to actually happen so you know uh, who supports you, you know what I'm saying, it's like one of those uh, classic school movies, where you know what I'm saying, you think you all alone, right, and then everybody want to fight you because you the new kid, right, or you the new girl, right, and then as soon as you get into a fight, so the first person who take up for you, boom, you never knew that person was looking at you in class the whole time, you never knew this person fucked with you, until that transformation of circumstance happen and then boom you seen your support that's 11th house lord the 8th house you see what i'm saying now 9th house lord 12th house lord in the, uh, i mean 12th house lord in the ninth house boom motherfucker all your enemies come from in the church if you go to church yeah especially if you uh if you is the drunk ass auntie or uh or goddamn you a female and shit like that you need to know you getting talked up and down about what the fuck you wearing every goddamn day the same same motherfucker miss patty miss lulabelle uh, you know what i'm saying uh Miss Jezebel and all, all these motherfuckers, yeah, they smile, they be smiling in your face, yeah, you look so nice today, yeah, 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 yeah. as soon as you went to take your ass and sit out, they walk away like, little nasty hoe, you, know, you better believe it, you better believe it if you got the 12th house forward in the ninth house, you better believe it if your ass in church, like, you gotta believe that shit, but anytime you go through experiences with other people and, 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 and circumstances and situations, you need to know also, uh, this is where uh, all your enemies come from. Just you in school trying to get educated and you going through your experiences. You always develop enemies out of nowhere. So keep that in mind. 11th house lord, same difference. You know what I'm saying? The 11th house lord in the 9th house, here's where you experience all your motherfucking... Um, all your motherfucking uh, supporters, all your supporters come from the church or whoever match your spirituality if it ain't religion or morality or, you know what I'm saying, or your experiences. You always got some supporting cast with you when you're going through experiences, you know, so whether you're traveling internally or externally, you know what I'm saying? 12th house lord in the 10th house. All your motherfucking enemies come from your career. Oh, this shit about to stop. All your enemies come from your career. And your status, people broadcasting, Facebook, people posting shit about you, all your enemies come from anytime you uh, you try to sustain yourself in, in your business, in your career, or just your status. Anytime you try to fixate yourself to gain stability to get from point A to point B in your life, here's where all your motherfucking enemies at. Motherfucking uh, 11th house lord, this is where all your supporters going to be at. 
in your career, your business, same difference. We got to chop this up real quick. Uh, 12th house, Lord, and 11th house. All your motherfucking enemies come from your associates, things you are associated with when you conduct yourself in a public arena. This is where all your motherfucking enemies come from. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Watch your motherfucking back. Don't just be associating yourself with people just because they might get what you need at the moment and you can get from point A to point B and then get in where you fit in, motherfucker. Don't be doing that too fast. You know what I'm saying? Get in and get out. Because once you get in and fit in, motherfucker, your ass stuck with a goddamn few enemies that you ain't even know hitting your ass coming from the blind side. Motherfucker, if you got the 12th house, Lord, and uh, if you got the 11th house, Lord, and the 11th house, then here's where a lot of your support. And you're going to have power and control. So don't be too power and control and overwhelming, but also don't be too passive because you're going to have foresight and people are going to want to be around you because you got the energy of what to do and what not to do when you're conducting yourself in a public arena dealing with the unknown and the unfamiliar. Now... 12th house lord in the 12th house all your motherfucking enemy you are your you your worst enemy 12th house lord in the 12th house you your worst enemy so you end up manifesting enemies because motherfuckers can't save you you ever been around a motherfucker that you tried to save and you you told them to do the right thing so much that goddamn it you didn't turn it had it turned into a fight so but then that's an enemy this motherfucker is an enemy of themselves so much that they turned themselves into a wor worse motherfucking enemy. So they're playing all them kind of ways. And if you got the 11th house lord in the 12th house, all your support come from yourself. Your own mentality, your own dreams, your own imagination, your own fantasies. And you may manifest others who support that with you. Flight boss, bitch, goddamn air. Shit, I'm done.